Welcome back to Painting and Decorating. Now, this is a fun job. Uh, there's a lot getting done on this staircase, starting with stripping the ceilings and all the walls. Um, I'm not sure, there may be coving going up down here, um, but I don't think so. It looks, it's a bit difficult. It'll probably look a bit odd, but um, ceilings getting papered walls getting papered, all getting emulsioned. This could be a feature wall, um, custom, customer's not decided yet. So things might change as, as it goes on. This is staying varnished. I'm just gonna clean it off and that's gonna get uh, more varnish on there. So carpet's getting replaced. So that's a good one as well. I'll give you a quick look round. Starting downstairs here first. Smoke alarms are covered up, which is a good one. So a bit of stripping of paper there, not much. Bits across the wall there, ceiling. Um, it's had a lot of work done this house, rewiring. All central heating's new. Um, so I'll have to take the cappings off the radiator to get the paper off. Um, it's always a better idea to strip all your paper off before you have new radiators fitted. Take the lampshades down. I think um, new curtains are going up so they'll be coming off. Coat rack will be staying I should imagine. box there, I think that's electric or something like that, yeah. So, it's quite a staircase really, for what it is, it's quite a drop that. And you won't want to fall from up there. Safety first all the time. Now, I've got to uh, shave the bottom off that again. Because I did shave some off, but carpet's been fitted and it wouldn't shut. Um, some houses are just lopsided and the carpet bows, so there's going to be a gap like that under it. But well, what can you do? So, all these doors are new. And I've actually done the rooms. Um, this side of the doors, they've had one coat. So I've only got the casings and another coat on the doors to do when I get to them. Uh, Water-based satin wood, it's good stuff. So again, um, take the lampshade down, smoke alarm's already covered over, remove the old bit there and strip the wallpaper. Gonna need a bigger ladder. So, half a ladder going up there. Um, plank, steps. So it's quite a length that is, quite a length. So fingers crossed today, I may get it all stripped, just see how it goes. So literally start from top to bottom cleaning up as you go, wiping off everything, protecting this, because you don't want to be mucking that up. Although you've got to clean it off, you don't want to make work for yourself. Um, this is the customer's temporary carpet. Looks all right, isn't it? <laughs> um, let's crack on. So far, I've removed the light, uh, fittings and um, I've actually uh, taken the smoke alarm off and then unscrewed the bracket left the screws in the ceiling I'm actually going to cover that up in plastic um, when you're working around the ceiling rows and things like that be really careful turn the electric off for safety 
I'm only got it on to show you the because uh, it's dark in here. That's me set up on the staircase. Small ladder, plank. Three in one. Essential per steps there. Bucket of water in the flat brush. Cloths for wiping up. Rubbish bag. Always clean up as you're going. I mean, generally you're working from the top down, um, so you can move your rubbish downstairs as much but what you want to try and do is clean up as much as you can so keep as much of it upstairs as you can and actually clean up as you go in because if you chuck it all downstairs by the time you get down there you've just got a pile of rubbish right gloves dust masks because i'm going to dry scrape uh, the surface off and then wet it in and uh, various scrapers so you just find out which one's the best for the type of paper you're actually stripping so like I say I'm going to strip the front off and then wet it in uh, starting with the ceiling up there somewhere let's have a look first of all be really careful on your plank one fall and you're in hospital and what you're better doing is keeping the balls and feet on the edge of the plank all the time. Either side, if you're ever working, don't just keep your feet in the centre. That way you don't know where you are. Keep your feet just to the edge. You always know where you are and you'll never actually step back over it either way. Right. Now then, up here first. So I'm just using the regular scraper for this. Looks like it's not going to be too bad. with a camera in the hand as well. That went out too bad at all that. rubbish on your plate. Set too long, I don't think.
Right, another thing, don't overstretch. Only go as far as you can go. Right, wall next. too much. A few cracks here and there. A bit of a crack there. So once you've stripped the surface off you need to wet it all in. I'll show you that in a minute and I'll strip the rest of this. So you get to that stage you have to wet it in now. You want to use a spray you can do I just like to use my flat brush make sure you give it a good soak Depending how warm it is, you need to uh, soak it a few times and work in small areas. If you do too much, it's going to dry out on you. Usually what I do is put a little bit on where it's soak and add more. Bring down them sides a little bit. Just that other side there. Just take your time because safety comes first. Right. Now you can carry on using your same scraper if you want. I like to use this one. Now there's not loads of paper on this ceiling but because you can't see where most of it is you're just going to generally give it a scrape over. I mean you can see where it's gone dark. That's where the joint is at so give that good scrape paint's crept through there. That's not too bad at all. Eh? Yeah. 
while you're going you can clean off the old paste just wipe it over with a cloth once you've scraped the paper off So I'm going to finish scraping this and then I'm going to wipe it over with a cloth and uh, I'm going to carry on I'm cleaning up as I'm going, I've already started so I say it's just a process of stripping a bit, wetting a bit, cleaning a bit and as you go down the stairs and every process really is top to bottom so i hope you enjoyed part one and uh, part two is going to be papering the ceilings